Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail. I am beyond excited to present a new project that has been basically in process since 2009 when I first started in paper crafting. I would say one of the most requested things I have ever had is for me to put together a compilation or as I'm calling it here, a source book for all of the different bindings that I have used over the years. Now, those of you who know me, who follow me on my Ustream shows, know that I have always presented my bindings for anybody to use for free. Um, now, with this source book, I am selling this source book, which has around 36 different bindings that I have used over the years. Now, I'm not touching on bindings that I've never used, such as some of the sewn spine type bindings, that side of thing, sort of thing. These are just bindings that I have used over the years. These are, the vast majority of these are, um, have their roots in um, history and I'm going to try to tell people about some of that history that I have discovered in all of my research with these bindings. Um, I'm going to talk about my inspiration for them of the ones that I have um, kind of developed from those historical roots and that sort of thing. Um, explain why I chose dimensions that I chose that sort of thing. So. Um, it's basically this first video is going to be just an overview of what the source book is about. It is available for purchase um, over on in my shop. Um, there's five sections, as I said, um, around 35, 36 uh, bindings and their variations. And then there will be videos that go along with it. I have planned about 18 different videos. I will also um, have with each of those videos or e I ha will have an e overview video for each of the sections where I will show you albums um, that I've used those types of bindings in that sort of thing and in those videos I will have in you know the little description thing that's down there um, connections to some of the older videos some going as far back as 2009 as I said um, will link those videos um, from the, the past. Now, just to qualify, when I first started doing YouTube videos back in 2009, you could do 10 minutes. You could push it to 10 minutes in about 57, 58 seconds, but then it would cut you off. So you could only do 10 minute videos. So in videos, I do tend to talk a little fast, probably still a, do a bit um, even now I can do whatever length I want. So <laughs> my early videos, I'm talking fast. Sometimes I get a little breathy because I'm trying to talk fast. So um, be kind on those. So anyway, with Binding Basics and Beyond Sourcebook, as I said, there are five different sections for different types of binding styles. There's the basic binding styles. There is what's called butterfly binding styles that are from the Song Dynasty back in China, the, uh, the first century AD. There is accordion style, um, there is stacked style, and then individual unit bindings. So those are my five categories. Again, I will have around 18 videos, including this one, that give you an overview. With um, When you purchase the source book, you will be able to download all of these pages which give you the written instructions. The videos will give you an overview of each of the different bindings, but this gives you a resource that you can then use when you are designing your own mini album, deciding to make a mini album. I want to switch the kind of binding I'm using, kind of my mini album. You can use this source book then to choose what's going to be the best binding for you to use. So in Binding Basics, I go over rings and ties, which is where we, many of us who have been doing this for a long time started. So I'll start out with that. 
We'll go into things like ribbon loop, um, purchased elements, um, beaded matchbook. Um, I'll show you some samples of that. Then we go into the butterfly bindings, which is what the butterfly bindings is when you put pages um, back to back. Um, my original paper bag um, uh, album from way back, way back. That's actually a modification of the butterfly binding. Um, as is um, my long envelope that I did for a swap about a million years ago. Um, what I call a J-hook, where one page attaches to the back side of the page before it. Um, a feathered hinge binding, which is one that um, I used just a few months ago on a project, and I'll show you that one. <coughs> we then go into accordion or concertina bindings, um, and these date back to paper folding in the 8th century in Japan, whether it's just a simple accordion or additional accordion. Um, I have it with single or double fins for it that I started using back in 2009. I'm then, and then also the honeycomb accordion, which allowed for um, a accordion binding to be able to expand without a fixed spine on it. Um, and then I'm gonna show you something that goes back to my quilting days, which is what I did prior to um, moving into paper. Um, and I'm gonna make one out of fabric. I've been using fabric in my bindings for many years now for durability and strength. It doesn't crack um, and it's just super strong. And as a quilter, I have a lot of fabric around. Um, with this, I'm gonna be using freezer paper to show you how to do an accordion binding with freezer paper and fabric. The freezer paper doesn't stay, but it helps you to do a precisely folded binding with fabric. Um, and that, again, goes back to my quilting days. Um, then we have the stacked bindings, stack the deck, <coughs> excuse me, which is a classic that I introduced back in 2011. Um, stack the deck plus, which has uh, stack the deck with insertions. I also called it stack the deck two, stack the deck with pockets. Um, but it's basically stack the deck plus insertions. Um, stacked pages, which um, I used for one and done back in what, 2013, 2014, uh, where I just took the stack the deck binding and expanded it out into pages. Um, I have stack the deck with fabric fins. Um, again, as I've been using fabric more and more in the bindings, I wanted to keep my classic stack the deck but added some fabric fins. I didn't want it to be entirely fabric. Um, out of the box binding, a way for, um, and it's best to show this when I show the sample, when I do the overview, it's where um, it's a stacked binding where the pages pull out of a box, but they go down in flush inside of a box. Um, cascading pockets to where you can take a stack the deck and make fins out of it so you can have cascading pockets. This is actually over on Snap Guide. Um, and then cascading pages where um, stack strips allow those pages to cascade. And then the last section is the individual binding units where each piece of the binding is a separate unit so you can do as many or as few as you want. You can do an even number, an odd number. Um, this is the binding style that I use the most right now. It's very clean. I, I've incorporated fabric into it. Um, and then I can just make it whatever number of pages I want it to be. So there's the T-square binding. And then the one that I use the most is the T-square with fabric. Um, precursor to doing stack the deck and such was um, using channels and hinges. I called um, the, the single hinge, I called it a perfect hinge. Um, and then there was also the the channels, <coughs> which is essentially what Stack the Deck is. It's just a series of channels that each get a little bit wider. Um, I have a fabric hinge, so it's the perfect hinge made out of fabric. Um, this is my latest one. This is one the one I've been doing on YouTube, uh, not on YouTube, I mean on Ustream the past week. Um, this is a box, um, a box spine binding. That comes out way cool. I'm super, super excited and super stoked to how that one comes out. 
Um, and then another one that I've just started using, and I think it's going to become my new favorite and actually start using more than I actually, I use T-Square with fabric right now. And T-Square with fabric I've been using almost exclusively for over two years now. So, and this is the bifold hinge binding, so I'm excited to show you that one as well. As I said, there will be 18 videos that will help you to determine which is the best binding for you and your project. So this is the Binding Basics and Beyond, and you can catch my website address down in the information at the bottom of this video. So sit back, check out some of the other videos. Um, if you're watching this in late August of 2017, I'm still working on getting those videos. If you're watching it later after that, sit back, enjoy. There's 18 videos for you to watch here over on YouTube. Thanks so much. And I'm still not great at this all these years. <laughs>